Shoe Master is a new blender add-on for shoes modeling. It can be used by 3D artists and it is technical enough to be used by shoe designers. And the reason is simple. It streamlines the entire footwear creation process, from importing and sketching 2D shoe patterns to generating production-ready 3D shoe models. And you can do all of that inside Blender. The add-on is built to meet modern footwear industry standards. This is why it is really accurate. And it can help you with leather shoes, sneakers, in addition to other stuff. And the good news is that it automates many repetitive tasks that can take you a lot of time and labor. And the workflow is really simple. You can start from a 2D shoe pattern or sketch, for example, a technical drawing or a shoe panel, and then map or remap these outlines onto a 3D shoe foot form. The Anno supports importing standard 2D formats, like AutoCAD DXF, so designers can bring in existing vector patterns directly. This means that if you have a 2D blueprint, or shoe upper, or pieces from a shoe pattern, the Anno can import it and use it as a foundation for the 3D model. Conversely, it also allows flattening of 3D components into 2D, so really quickly, you can unfold a 3D shoe upper into a flat 2D pattern, helping you in pattern making or texture painting later on. And the developer was thoughtful by supporting both 3D to 2D and 2D to 3D operations, so the add-on mirrors real footwear design process, where the designers move between last shapes and flat patterns. Another key part of the workflow is the inclusion of a sample shoe last and base model to start from. The add-on provides a base foot form and a template 3D base so you don't have to model a foot shape from scratch. This base is used as a canvas on which you can design the shoe. From there, the add-on offers intuitive tools to draw or place shoe components. One of Shoe Master's greatest strengths is its procedural approach to modeling the shoe upper which is the top part of the shoe that covers the foot. So instead of sculpting or manually polymodeling every detail, many elements are generated through parametric procedures that remain editable. For example, you can create padded surfaces for cushioned parts of the sneaker or quilted patterns on a boot using what the creators call puffy curves. These allow you to define an outline and then give it a puffed or raised profile, resulting in an inflated panel shape all adjustable via properties rather than fixed sculpting. Edge detailing is handled in a similar flexible manner. Stitching along seams, which is traditionally tedious, I mean to model stitch by stitch, is automated in the add-on. This means that you can simply indicate where two panels meet or where a seam line runs and the add-on will generate a row of stitches that follows the curve perfectly. And you can adjust the spacing, size, or even the path of the seams and the stitches will update accordingly. Beyond stitches, the Anno's modeling toolkit includes commands for thickening and refining panels. Once you have drawn the outline with a leather piece or fabric panel, Shoe Master can convert that curve into a mesh surface and give it realistic thickness. Tools like Remesh and B-Surface integration ensure the generated mesh is clean and suitable for further editing or sculpting if needed. And by the way, there are also utilities to flatten or unflatten parts which helps you if you need to adjust the shape in 2D and then project it back to 3D. Throughout the modeling process, Shoe Master keeps UV mapping in mind, so features like UV Transfer and UV Unwrap are available to make sure that when you convert patterns to 3D parts or vice versa, the UV coordinates are maintained or easily regenerated. This is crucial actually for texturing, as it preserves the alignment between any 2D artwork, like logos or textures on the shoes, and the 3D model services. Another thing I want to mention is that designing a shoe involves many small components that can be time consuming to create from scratch, but the add-on can solve that. For instance, generating shoelaces is built into the add-on. With a dedicated lace tool, you can create laces in either a round profile, like a standard core lace or a flat profile like ribbon laces, and the add-on will produce a curve-based lace that goes through the designed highlights position I mean in the shoe. In a similar fashion, adding a tongue to the shoe, which is the baddest section under the laces, can be done via the add-on. And there is a tongue function that can insert a sample tongue mesh or procedurally generate one to fit your shoe. And when it comes to stitching, as we mentioned earlier, it is automated along the edges, but Shoe Master may also handle things like panel joints or folds. And there you have it guys. 
If you are interested in this add-on, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.